welcome to find your video. Today we're going to be doing our tier list of the Premier League home kits. So in the tier list, you will see in the images at the bottom, it's got a away kit for Crystal Palace. But I will show you the photo of the home kit and that's what we'll be ranking in this tier list. We'll just put that in place because when this was made, they hadn't revealed it yet. So it's going to start off with Arsenal. Let's see how the tiers we've got go. Banger. Did the job. Could be better. And what were they thinking? So Arsenal. It's a it's a nice kit. Very standards of the red and white. But I like the white stripe along the inner side of the kit and the arm of the kit. Kind of has as if they're bringing that more retro style kind of thing. This episode will try to make it so it's a red bar in between two white bars but they just made it so it's a very bare minimum. It's a very clean finish that like the collar. And as always the logo looks good in the kit. A little bit blue on the shoulder. Overall good kit. White for this logo and the Emirates. I'm going to put that in banger. Yeah. I'll come back to it if I need to, but look at the kits right now, I don't know what ones I'm actually going to put in go, so I'll come back and see, I'll put my best one, my favourite ones on there. Next we have Aston Villa, so we've got the, the, the light blue shoulders, a little bit of the purple, a little bit of the purple going on to, onto the shoulders and onto the arm sleeve. So it's a very clean design to the actual kit itself, the stripes, the darker and lighter colour for the... But I want to say burgundy, but I don't know if that's the right colour. I'm going to put this one in bang as well. Right, so Brentford next. I like what they've, I like what they've tried to do with the kit. And but when it's done the right, it looks good. What I don't like is the white outline around the uh, sponsor. Uh, I don't like how it lines up with the sponsor lining up right edge to edge of the red lines. So they are. So it's going on, it's like just about pushing onto the white lines. I don't think it looks very good. I think it would be better if it's more centered. So it finished inside of the red lines instead of going out to the further white ones. I think the sleeves just add, the stripes and sleeves just add a bit too much. I think it'd be better if it was just a solid red or solid white for the sleeves. But it's not a bad kit. It's just needs a wee bit, wee bit of tweaks that needs done. Also, when we get the Brentford badge, it actually goes outside of the lines. I could if the lines were thinner, then it would look better, but I think it's just a wee bit too thick for that sort of thing. I think it could be better. Looking at the names again. You know, I said it, kind of, it would look a bit better. If you're looking at Goat Banger, it could be better than Did a Job. Did a Job is more of a. It's not a good kit, it's not a bad kit. It's just like that very standard as if you're looking at being lazy about it slightly. And just done a very basic kit for them to get it done in it the way. So this could be better. So it, it could be a wee bit of improvements to make it a banger. And then. But, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with that. So the Brighton kit. I think, I think the Brighton kit have done a lot better with the stripes. The sleeves, they've done the same with the, for the sleeves as what Brentford has done. But I think for the actual torso of the actual kit. The sponsor looks a lot better with the white bar going straight across. The actual sponsor finishes halfway between the, the first and third blue line that you see. The one, if the one that goes behind the badge and the one behind the Nick logo, the sponsor actually finishes right in the middle of the lines. So it can center, it's centered in the kit. It looks a lot cleaner. The color of the sponsor looks. The colour sponsor goes really well with the actual kit. I like how they've got the, the yellow Nike 
the match, the yellow stripe going down the inseam of of the kit as well. And no other thing that obviously it changes the sleeves, but I say it, it that's the only thing I think that could be better to make it a banger. But then again, I think they've done everything so else is so much better than the French bug kit. I think it should be in banger. But for that, I'm going to put it in the cube better, but I'm going to put the French bug behind it. We'll see at the end how many kits. We'll see what other kits I've put in to see what I prefer. Okay, next is Burnley. Well, it's the same colour. Same colours used as. Aston Filler. I like the kind of design they put on the sleeves and I just went for a plain solid colour. I've added a bit of texture to it and it looks a lot better I think. I like the, te the kind of texture they put onto the actual plain, I'm going to say burgundy again but again I don't know if that's the right colour name to call it. I've added a bit of texture so it's not be better of it's not just a plain solid colour, they've added a bit more to add it, make it a bit more interesting. I, I prefer this to the Aston Villa design. The Aston Villa design might be put down on the tier actually. Yeah, I'm going to put Aston Villa down on the tier. Uh, the logo, the logo looks good in this guy, it's Overall, it's a fair nice. I'm going to put that one in banger. No, that's what in banger. Yeah, I just feel I really like the, te the texture and then I think the colours actually look really well in this because they're like a brighter blue than Asa Fella as well. Yeah, next up is Newcastle. There's not really much you can change about the Newcastle kit. I've gone for the standard the black and white stripes. I think the only thing that's been the main thing, like they're a lot thicker than what they usually are. So it's three stripes along for the torso of the body, and then there's a black stripe on either side, then the inseam of your arm. And then the clear things is there, there's like a number four with the collar. Not a massive fan of the collar. I don't really like football kits with a collar that goes with like a button up. That's not, I'm not a really big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of the, look, the sponsor's design. I don't know if it just doesn't look right in this kit, if it's too big for this kit. Or if it's the actual design of the sponsor itself. The thing about this, the good part of the sponsor is they have made it white behind the sponsor. So you, you can still be very clearly on the shirt without it changing from white black to white in the background. So I do think it would look a bit better if they put a white bar right across the middle. For that, like they have done for Brighton, it would make that sponsor stand out a lot more. I'll get rid of the fact that there's like a number four on the front of the top. Yeah, it's. A, I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to put this one in the, the job. Okay, it could be better, but realistically, if you, you put it in the, 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 the job and what are you thinking, it could be done better. Otherwise, it, it would be up there. Next up is Chelsea. First time I saw this kit, I wasn't a fan of all the Tifati Fuzzy, even though I am a fan of all the kits that have a bit more texture and design than to make them look a bit funky. No, that's. Yeah. Well, in this case, uh, yeah, obviously this one would be. So, but it has, it has gone on. I've seen it on actual players, it looks a little better than what I did. I've just seen the actual top itself. The sponsor looks good on the kit, the yellow Nike sign, the, the yellow kind of border around it. It kind of looks like there's a yellow border around the badge, I don't think it is, it might just be the photo that I've got. I don't know, but I think it'll just get this one looks good, I think this one's going to be in gold. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a really nice kit. I've just seen it for the first, first time, didn't like it at all, but that. Uh, it's definitely going on, I really like it on. Alright, so the Crystal Palace kit. I actually really like this design, I really like how... Uh, uh, obviously they always stick with the red and the blue. I really like how they've mixed up so it's, the lines are at an angle rather than going vertical all the time. I like every bit of detail of the wee 
the slightly darker thin line between the standard blue and the red. Kind of just adds a wee bit more detail, makes it stand out a wee bit more. I like that the that angle of the lines are at the same angle as the sort of whiter parts of the W on the sponsor. It kind of just blends out, just makes it flow a wee bit more. The sponsor looks good on the cat. The colour looks good. And the, the badge and the Puma logo actually looks good as well on the kit. Overall, I think this is actually a very really nice kit. It might be one of my more favourite kits of Crystal Palace. I'm going to put it on Banger. I'm going to put Arsenal down. No. Yeah, that's, I think, yeah, that's more. Do I put them above Burnley? No, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put them above them. The Everything kit is more interesting what their standard kits are. I like the sort of wee bit of detail. I like the line details on the kit. You can actually see it a bit more clearly on the photo that I've bought on the tier list. Which you can't actually see right now. There you go. Look, so you can now see it now a bit more. So you can, yeah, you can, you can see it there a lot clearly. You can actually see it in the photo. But I do like that design. The sponsor looks good on the kit. The collar looks good. The, I like the wee bit of yeah, the trim on the arm and the collar. So yeah, I think I'm going to put this one. Um, no, I think I'm going to like, put it in higher. High could be better. I don't want, I, I don't want to put too many... Too many kits and banger. I want to spread it out a bit. These are a team that I do usually like their kit. Well, I like the kit last season. But this season for the whole kit, they've kind of just stayed very basic. Just went kind of like the old school Real Madrid kits, which I just went for a plain white top. Changed the colour of the stripes at the top. And this sponsor I've made. I do like how they've tied in the the stripes, they do the stripes at the top of the yellow. There's your yellow bit on the sponsor and obviously the badge is yellow. I do the symbols the same colour. The sponsor, which there's also a bit of that colour in the badge itself. So I think it ties around all together very good. But I do think it could be a little better. Again, not a fake fan on the actual colour itself. So in this case, I'm going to put it in dead the job. But I do think it's above Newcastle. This does get, I really like the texture in the background because as I said before, I really, I'm a fan of having a bit more texture in the, in the actual kits and I just have plain soil colour. I like the texture that they've got, I like it, I like how it's carried on over to the sleeves. I like the, I like the colour, like the unity between the white collar, the white stripes, the white sponsor, the white Adidas logo. I think actually it's a really good only thing I don't like. I think the sponsor might be just slightly a bit too high up. It's a little bit big. But I think that's more the logo's design. The design of the actual sponsor itself. Because the the few letters are quite big compared to the bit below it. But yeah, I do think the sponsor's a wee bit too high up. A wee bit lower down. I've got a bit more. But I do really like the actual kit, but I can take a sponsor if I really like the kit itself. So I'm going to put this one in banger. I'm going to put that above Arsenal as well. Liverpool's kind of like my sort of English team that I like to follow. This kit. They've had better kits in the past. When I first saw it, I really didn't really like the, the orange. The pink looked great with the kit. I was a big fan of the stripes. The diagonal stripes. The kit's grown on me a bit, but it's still definitely not one of my favourite kits, especially even just Liverpool kits, it's not one of my favourites. Never mind these kits as well. So I think I'm gonna I might actually put this in the job. Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's a high did job though. Okay, Man City. Man City kit is it there's times of the kit that I really like and there's times of I'm like, ah, I don't, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. 
like the colour, something wrong with the colour, there's a wee bit of texture in the kit, it looks good. The white, which is kind of striped, that goes halfway down in the interior of your arm. Is it? Looks good. The part, the main thing that's making me feel like I don't like the kit is it the around the arm band bands around the arm, the bottom of the sleeves, and the collar. It kind of makes it look like it's just a wee cheap top that's been used for a Primark. You can wear one something later. But the collar doesn't look like an a purple collar. Is it a very plain kit? So I think I'm going to put this in the, the job, it's not, it's not an amazing kit, it's just, it's a collar and then just a bit around the sleeves, the bottom of the sleeves is really little, it's kept in for me. It's a Man United. It's not really a lot that you've done, you could go wrong with this kit. It's not a lot that could make, that make it stand out. It's like a very slim, you can just about see the detail. Of lines in this kit, but it's not enough to make it stand out to other plain red kit. It's the wee bit of white, the white collar, the white stripes, the white sleep, the white collar around the sleep, around the sleeves. It looks nice. It's not going to stand out though, so I think it could have, it could have been done better. Sponsor is good in a kit at least. But yeah, but it's nothing to make it actually stand out or anything. So, the notch kit. I've been a fan of the kits in the past. And I like, I like the, as I said before on this, I'm a fan of texture and the changing up kits a bit. But the sleeves, I don't like. I'm not, I'm not always, a, I'm not usually a big fan of green yellow kits as it is. But it's done right, it looks good. Like this, it doesn't. I don't like the sleeves. The wee bit of green at the top, I think they could have just left it a plain yellow kit with green sleeves and it would look better because it's practically just green sleeves that have added with a couple of yellow lines. This one might be, yeah, I think this one might need to be. What were you thinking? What were they thinking? I was going to be a. So, Southampton. I'm a big fan of this kit. I really like the texture and the, the sort of arrows in the in the white. There's a bit of the te you can see it a wee bit in the red as well. It really stands in the white and makes the just a plain. So if I just be a plain white and red stripe dot, they've added a wee bit of texture in. But I'm bringing in the Hummel sort of iconic. The arrows and this on the shoulders of the Antarctica kit itself when I'm going straight down the body. It looks good, it makes the kit look a lot more interesting. The collar, it looks good, it's not, a, it's not an amazing collar, but it looks decent. It doesn't make the kit look bad. I don't find about how thick it is at the bottom, but it works. Sponsor looks good on the kit as well. So I think this one's going to be a goat as well. The right spurs. If it's a plain white top, I've got a wee bit, you can just about see it, the line, it's a kind of circle pattern in the kit, but it's very plain, the face that I used the same kit as last year I think it is, and it just added a bit of texture, maybe two years ago it was, but it doesn't look bad, so uh, yeah, it's think this one's going to be a better job, but it doesn't, it's not a bad kit, but it's just, it basically uses the same kit and just adds a bit of texture onto it. But Watford is was a team that changed up the kit and tried to try new things so it gets different opinions. You either love the kit or you hate the kit. Last season with the with the black lines kinda of pointing towards the badge, yeah, it's really good. It was very different. I really like that this one. Really tried to change it up again. So horizontal lines with a kind of a gradient from thin to thick. I like the idea of it, but I don't think it looks as good as what it could. It's born to the yellow outline, the black text yellow outline. It doesn't look that good. I think they could have just left it a 
the other box. Would have, that would have looked a bit more better. But I see I just lowered it down. So so it was covering the black line at the bottom of the sponsor. I think I brought it down so that was towards the centre of the actual sponsor. I just left a yellow box around the around the text. Because that would have made the cat look a lot better. Colour looks good. I don't think this is what we're thinking. I do kind of like it, but it's just we think that I would change. So I think it's the did the job. But West Ham, I think they've done better than Aston Villa. But the more I look at Aston Villa kit, the more I'm like, I don't like it as much anymore. Can look at the these kits. I'm looking at Aston Villa kit. I'm like, okay, it's a nice kit, but it compares to the kits around it. I think it could be then I, I could go down a tier. West Ham kit. I really, I really like it. I think it, I actually think this one's actually better than Aston Villa. Now that I'm looking at it, it's the blue along the top of the shoulder, with the burgundy coming down at the bottom of the shoulder arm. Um, I kind of like the collar. I'm not a massive fan of the colours usually, but I kind of like this one with the fact that it's half blue, half burgundy. I like the fact that it's not got the button. Can I call it in? Button down collar. So even though this one is a very plain kit, I actually kind of like this one. Because it's just a little bit different to what you usually get. So I'm going to put this one. So I want to put it in because they're better, but at the same time like, I don't really know what they could have done better. But yeah, I'm going to put it there. I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to move the Aston Villa one down. I'm going to put it in front of Liverpool. The, the last kit is Wills and honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. It looks alright. I don't really know what they're doing with the three dots. The sponsor doesn't look great in the kit. The colour looks good. I think that they could have done a bit more, I think maybe make the black go down the whole inseam of the kit instead of just a wee white black bar around the back, around the side. But it's not an awful kit, but I think I'm going to need to put this one and did the job. Yeah. Alright, so before I finish this video, I'm going to give a look at this kit. These cuts again, right, I'm going to put Aston Villa back up, but I'm going to put it right at the end. And I'm going to put Spurs forward one. Because just even though it's just a plain white cut, it's a bit better than I prefer the cut to the Newcastle. I might need to put Crystal Palace up one as well. No, no, no we'll, we'll leave it at that. But now it's good. So, I, ho I hope you enjoyed. Probably don't agree with me. No one will. I already know that. But I hope you enjoyed me giving my opinion about the kits. I'm planning to do an away kit and possibly a flood kit for the Premier League. But I'm definitely going to do one for Champions League and Europa League as well at some point when once they're announced. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and watch it, please videos if you did enjoy this and i'll see you next time see you